on today's episode of Clifford, the Big Red Dog, we're going to learn about Clifford's family tree. My name's Clifford, and people know me as the Big Red Dog. But I'm here to tell you guys that I'm not the only big dog in my family. I have three siblings, Clifton, Cliffy, and Clifferella. Clifferella is my youngest sister, but I do not call her my little sister because she is certainly not little. Clifferella is big like me. My brother Clifton and my sister Cliffy are both small. My mom's name is Cliffmeen, and she is also small. But my dad is big like me. When my dad was born, my grandma and grandpa were so surprised by his size that they named him Biggs. My dad's brother... Uncle Smalls, is not big. At the top of my father's side of the family tree is Grandma Dog and Grandpa Dog. Both my grandparents are small, so I sure do wonder where my dad Biggs, my sister Clifferella, and I all get our big gene. Daddy Biggs used to say that only boys can get the big gene allele, but I know that my dad is wrong. I know the allele for being big is not located on the Y chromosome because my father is a different phenotype than Grandpa Dog and his brother Uncle Smalls. Also, my sister Clifferella is big and she has no Y chromosome. Now, we will determine if big follows autosomal dominant inheritance. The word autosome means that the gene is located on a non-sex chromosome. This means that the trait is inherited the same way, regardless of the sex of the parent or offspring. I know that big is not an autosomal dominant allele because grandma dog and grandpa dog both have to be homozygous recessive to be small in this case, which means that there is no way that daddy bigs could have inherited the big allele. Grandpa dog and grandma dog would only produce gametes with the recessive allele. On the other hand, the big trach could follow autosomal recessive inheritance. This means that my mother, Cliff Mean, would be heterozygous and have both alleles, while my father, Biggs, would be homozygous for the recessive big allele. I could have received a recessive big allele from both of my parents in this case. Same with my sister, Clifferella. Now we will look at X-linked inheritance patterns. X-linked inheritance means that the gene of interest is located on the X sex chromosome. So the trait of interest is inherited differently between males and females. Females have two X chromosomes, one from the mom and one from the dad. Males have one X chromosome from their mother and the Y chromosome from their father. The big allele could, could follow X-linked recessive inheritance in my family. This means I could have one X chromosome with a recessive big allele and my sister, Clifferella, could have two X chromosomes, both with a recessive big allele. Finally, we will look at X-linked dominant inheritance. Big cannot be the dominant allele on the X chromosome because Daddy Biggs could not have received the big allele from Grandma Dog. In this case, Grandma Dog only has gametes with the recessive allele because she's homozygous recessive to be small. Today, we looked at Clifford the Big Red Dog's family pedigree to determine that the big trait in Clifford's family is consistent with an autosomal recessive or X-linked recessive mode of inheritance. I hope you enjoyed this episode and learned more about the simple Mendelian inheritance patterns.